First, the basic one-two slip. This works really well when your opponent counters with a jab. Slipping outside his jab, putting you in prime position for an uppercut counter. The same movement can be used if he counters with a straight. It's a little bit more dangerous because you're inside his straight where you could get counted, so you have to throw your arm counter quickly. Next, we're going to slip to the opposite side after throwing the one two. This is good when your opponent counters with a straight hand because you're slipping outside his straight, putting you in a prime position to throw an uppercut from a place where it's difficult for him to see it coming. And finally, a one two ducking under when your opponent throws a hook. Duck with a U shape so that you can duck under and load your hips to fire a right cross and follow up from there. And here we are doing some sparring. I'm focusing on my defense and my head movement here. My opponent is a white belt who has some boxing experience. You can see he has a very good head movement too. Head movement by itself though is not enough. You need to combine head movement with parrying, blocking and footwork in order to create a complete defensive system. You don't have to wait till your opponent throws something to use head movement. It's something you use before and after your strikes. By moving your head constantly, you create a moving target. If your head is always sitting in the same spot, it's easier to find. Head movement can also be used to set strikes up. 